Hello everyone, um, today we're going to talk about uh, continuous integration and start uh, seeing a little bit of continuous delivery. The idea is if, if we look back on how software was created before, right? it, it, it took a long time for a release to come into production um, we have the waterfall method and also the, the way things were the, the language languages that were being used and a couple of factors led the design and you know architecture of those applications to to take a long time and so a couple of guys started looking to let's find a better way of push software into production faster right and it starts with you know agile methodologies and then a couple of tooling but in the end what we want the the, the end goal is how can we make software go to production faster, right? And whatever tooling you are using and whatever uh, methodology you are using um, to, to manage your project, right? It can be uh, Scrum, Kanban and whatnot. N no matter what are the, the methodologies you are using and the, the tooling you are using, the one, one concept is always the same right we, when we talk about continuous integration and continuous delivery the idea is that once we push code to our git repository there will be automated steps that will take my application or a piece of my application to production that's that's the 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 goal of it right so continuous integration if you look to this uh, green part here right don't 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 mind about the tooling okay don't mind if the tooling is jenkins uh, spinnaker or whatever those are just you no know, uh, tools you can use any other one here that will accomplish the same but continuous integration focus on this step here on receiving the code uh, performing tests start the builds and mostly it right so it's the, the 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 action of integrate source code and whatever happens to this like let's say we need a pull request we have to to we need at least two or three reviewers we need that all the unit tests are run successfully right so all of those actions uh, they are from the continuous integration part of things, right? And later on, we're gonna discuss about also the continuous deployment. That when we have an art, um, one artifact, right? And the artifact can be uh, a, a Docker image, for instance, right? And we're gonna publish that to, in this case, it's published to a um, Kubernetes cluster but it could be to uh, any other orchestrator right so we're gonna in the next couple of sections we're gonna cover how to do this those steps and one by one right and in the end we're gonna have a pipeline that deploys an application through something somewhere right um, the the application we we gonna use uh, is uh, GitLab, okay. Just for the sake of simplicity, uh, GitLab is a tool that actually encapsulates most of uh, it, it's it's one tool to rule them all, as we 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 we, we tend to say, right? Because you have your git server there you get, you have your uh, build steps and you also have a way to integrate with kubernetes clusters 
out of the box. So it, it's really one tool that encompasses everything. And why GitLab? Because it's uh, its learning curve is very, you know, it's easier to get started with. And it's all, it also has advanced capabilities once you get the hang of it. So it will be ideal for for, for this. Um, when whenever you you want to use other tooling, right? It it will mostly like be the same. So once you are ready and you have the concept the concepts in your in your mind, you can easily uh, switch to other tooling if you see fit. But GitLab is a is a good first one. Okay. Um, also, if you want to verify what is the landscape like right? and how the tooling today that we have uh, fits here this is this comes from CNCF so the one of the one of the boxes related to continuous integration and continuous delivery and we can see here a couple of uh, players right so we have GitLab we have Argo, we have Jenkins, we have Travis, uh, we have Webflux. So all of them mostly likely will, will operate in the same way and try to perform the same thing, right? Get code, bundle it, deploy it. Um, because it wouldn't make sense to cover all of them, we're going to cover GitLab. And that's it. See you in the next one.